What is up, YouTube? Jonas Fats, I'm back. Playing the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Last run, we had some fun, y'all. It was like soy milk, Ipecac. We didn't actually have soy milk. We had like Libra, freaking Ipecac. We were firing like crazy mad dogs. Uh, it was easy. Here's how that run went. It went easy, hard, harder, easy, easy, really, really easy. Let's... uh. Get back into it. We got 26 wins in a row on random. Oh my god. Freaking heartaches. We just did a Polyon though. Literally like yesterday's freaking run. We just did a Polyon and now we got to do it again. This is not what I signed up for. All right. We got hit apparently. So that's not good. Um, but as I mentioned on the, uh, the last episode and the last run uh apollyon is kind of an average character not really like crushing it in any specific stat or anything it's just you start with the void which is not i don't know uh, i i've come to appreciate the void less and less um so i guess it's a depreciation of an item i just i don't find it like as valuable as maybe some other players but it's it's not it's not bad. It's it's not like a terrible spacebar item because you can get some stat increases on potentially on uh, some bad items like this one. So that was a damage and a luck upgrade. That's not that bad. I mean, it's already a damage upgrade, but we also got a damage upgrade. Okay, you gotta stop. We don't have like quite enough range. There we go. But yeah, no, I mean, that was absolutely fine because Eve's Mascara doubles your tier rate. What the hell seed is this? 22QN FMSF. The FM radio for Street Fighter. If you guys could find me a Tinted Rock, that would be pretty good. You did not, I can't help but notice. Okay, I'm just gonna like hang out here because these spiders can be kind of jerks sometimes so you guys gotta go first actually because you jump like freaking animals all right good stuff we have such a low shot speed right now i mean it's like default shot speed that it's actually kind of like messing with my mind a little bit now, do we take Cuban meat or do we reroll it potentially for better stats? I think you gotta reroll it. Or not reroll, I think you gotta take it. I don't think you suck it up for the items. Uh, enough for the items, for the random stat. We don't push our luck. We already had a luck upgrade. Don't push our luck, but we had a luck upgrade and a damage up. Not really like the typical void usage. So let's just take all the bandages. Let's just go. But I do want to just check the rest of this floor and hopefully go to that curse room. If we can go to the curse room. Take me to the curse room. And we have no keys. So that's not really super beneficial. We do have a bomb. So we could theoretically do that. But I'm going to use my bomb, like, right here. Because that is a smart play. Ooh, this could be good. This could be really good. It's not... Yeah, not really that good. Could be a secret room, though. It's also not... Okay, wait one second on that. Come down here. This is actually, like, a little bit... A little risky. Yeah, just run. Um, yeah, because now we're at, like, half a red heart. So, just to make sure that you can get this. Yeah, and there's like nothing else we can do. Let's just go. <laughs> All right. Feeling okay on the run, but we'll see what we get. Uh, the last run we had. Uh, the oh, <laughs> Ooh, the, uh, the devil items were not really that good. We had, I think, one angel room that had like anything in it. And... Um, didn't really get much from it. All right. Okay, okay. Good stuff. 
all advantages really tempting to just use you for everything but i think that's probably a mistake i make a lot of mistakes though i tell you just in general not anything specific to this game or anything specific outside of it but that you know that's part of being an adult you make mistakes you learn from them it's part of growing up although i don't really consider myself grown up whatsoever my main pastime is uh something that arguably is intended for not somebody my age although i think the average age of somebody that does play video games is around the current age where i am at which i don't want to tell you what it is because that would just be mean um that's not really worth it at all not even to suck up I mean, it might be worth it to suck up, I guess, but we'll hang out for a second first. All right, you walked in the fire, and that was very rude of you. You're not a college kid trying to impress other college kids on YouTube, trying to make a video, running across fire. I saw a funny YouTube video the other day um, where this dude was lighting a cigarette with alcohol that he had dipped in his fingers or dipped his fingers in alcohol. Let me put that in like not a stupid way. Um, and I gotta be honest, like it, it made me laugh because first of all, it was on YouTube. So you know, he wasn't like, look how cool this dude is. So the dude takes his fingers, puts them into like rum or something like that, like 151 or whatever. Uh, I'm trying to think of like alcohol that's like flammable, but I don't know if it, all is like there's certain ones that are right and certain ones that aren't anyway either way uh this was alcohol of the flammable variety i want to get rid of that dude um so he dips it in and he lights a cigarette then he goes to pre or he proceeds to like show the camera how cool he is by like waving this freaking glass around and it's to the brim <clears throat> that's me i don't know that might be a take um grab this grab that yeah you know what let's grab the speed upgrade so he after he's done he's just got his cigarette lit and he's like i'm the coolest motherfuck on youtube screw y'all he then uh, inadvertently pours some of this still on fire, mind you, alcohol directly on his crotch. And it was enough that it soaked into his pants and lit on fire. Now, I'm not condoning any sort of actions like this. And it, I thought it was really stupid to do, but it was funny. So, so I'm going to keep talking about it. So he pours this on and his pants are now on fire why is there a chest up here i don't know about right um his pants are now on fire and he instinctually goes shit i need to put this fire out how am i gonna do that so he pours the alcohol which is on fire onto his crotch to uh put it out it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Uh, I really hope that the dude has like no long lasting injuries from it. But at the same point, like if you're gonna play with fire, maybe understand how things work. I don't think he totally did. And uh, it made for a really funny video nonetheless. Go check it out is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, so we got like Dark Judas. Um, we got enough good stuff going on that I, I feel pretty good about the run at its current set black powder is okay but not really amazing that's not really worth my anything although we nah it's still not worth it we might just convert that yeah i think the key's more valuable sure okay yo that was good bombs Okay, all right, all right. Ooh. 
So yeah, we're actually like sitting in a really good place in this run right now, other than the fact that I just got hit. Now I immediately question my own decisions. But I think we have two and a half soul hearts right now, which is pretty good. Now we have three and a half or ish. Okay, you know what? Get a circle going. Don't get hit by this dude. Let's get another circle. Thank you. Mm. Three, four, like nine cents. Yeah, probably worth it. That is an absolute suck. This is the only time the void is actually beneficial. And it's a minus two tier? Tier rate, rather? I'd say that was worth it. What do I want? Uh, betrayal, which does absolutely nothing. Um, or a minus two tier rate. Hmm. I wonder. Decisions. Decisions. Making the decisions. Uh, we're not taking Little Baggy. Tell you that straight up. I don't really want anything there. <clears throat> Alright. Did we go to our curse room? We did not. Should we? I don't know. If, uh, yeah, you know what? We, we probably can. We can Hangman in or out. Well, Hangman in, right? Like that's the best option. You might be saying, why not use it there? Oh, you know what? Ow. Ow. I'm gonna use it anyway. I didn't hang that in. It's okay. Ooh, guppy's paw. Can't. Yeah, we can't suck it up, but it is a guppy item. So I am happy to have it. I am happy. Everything is awesome. All right. What are we? What are we looking for now on this run? Honestly, like we're kind of in a good place. But let's just get like really good with it. Yeah, grab that. Two potential spots for our second secret room here too. Um, but we have no bombs, so it doesn't even matter. So ignore everything that I've ever said. It's a good idea. Ooh, the Fallen? That's pretty good, or it could be. Give me that sweet, sweet devil item. I don't recommend doing that, by the way. Um, you don't want to use fall advantages against this. That is a suck. And it's a damage up and a speed upgrade. Oh my god. See, here's what's happening right now. The void is like, yo, I heard you don't like me. I don't appreciate you not liking me. I'm not that bad of an item. I go, man, you still kind of are. So it's like, all right, well, here's two of the most important stats you can get in this entire game, right in a row, all at the same time. I'm like, all right, well, cool. I appreciate it. Actually, like, really, really do appreciate the void right now. But uh, we might trade it in if there's a better spacebar item. The guppy's paw is not one of them, but some other ones that I'd be willing to trade in. Yeah, we can do this. That was pretty good so far. All right, mega fatty's gotta go. So much HP though. Creep's gotta go. Okay, we probably should have got hit there. Keep moving, actually. Uh, Pandora's box right now gives us two items. Is that right? Yeah, that freaking mega fatty. What do you like, Sue? Oh, you gotta die, though. Literally the worst version of him. I don't think this will do anything. Oh, it does. Mega Maw, you sit on the ground. Looking like a fool with your head on the ground. All right, good stuff. Pop that. Not really worth it. Pop this. Oh, it's one item, but we got two swords with it. 
oddly okay with it. Uh, yeah, let's pop this. Alright. It came out of there like a freaking shotgun and PUBG shot right there. I really need to pick up, um, some PUBG stuff. Not some PUBG stuff. I need to, like, play some more PUBG. It's been a while. Although, they did just announce that they will be doing uh, paid crates completely, like, as in, like, you can't earn the crates anymore. Which, if you didn't see that coming, like, of course it was going to happen. Um, that's, like, their entire business model. And you can't expect, like, a game like that to come out at, like, $30 and not do that. However, they did say that it would not happen in early access and they are going to do that in early access i don't know how i feel about a game doing paid um lotto essentially like crates in early access not even really for early access 100 percent anyway now they got like crates in there and the only thing that are going to be in the crates which it's kind of what you want anyway um are cosmetic items so things like jackets, gloves, and so forth. And they said that they're not gonna go like super crazy on it. You're not gonna be able to get um, really funky stuff anyway. There might be things like maybe a suit, I don't know, uh, or Vin Diesel's triple X jacket, who knows? Either way though, it's it's pissed off a lot of people in that community. Uh, PUBG's got some PR issues right now. They uh, There's that thing on Reddit going on with like the dude that was, Everybody says he was stream sniping and then they pan or they banned him against like a, another streamer that apparently admitted to stream sniping and didn't get banned. I don't know. I'm not even sure of the names of the people. All I know is that they are way more popular than me, so I don't want to name them. Just in case. Um grab this. Sure. Why not? Either way though, PUBG, you got some like player unknown. Hopefully you get over the PR stuff. Hopefully you make some good decisions for your game. Got a weird avatar going on right now. Um, if you need any like, help with that, you just let me know. I'll let I'll let my uh, my knowledge of the actual game play through. I'll have to let you know that I did actually win one game one time. I know what I'm talking about. One time, maybe two times. Maybe twice. I have not won. I should have sucked that up. Ah, these are not even, I don't know, we'll pick them up, but I don't even think they're worth the suck. Yeah, not really. I'm trying to remember like the best solo finish I've had. Maybe like top 10, maybe top 15 anyway. I don't think I've ever come like super, well, I mean top 10 is like pretty close, um, but not like top four or like last circle anyway. In solo, that's pretty good. Okay, pop it now, there we go. Oh! Now, do I take the void or do I take up his head? Um, I'm gonna take Guppy's head. This is why you spend a little bit more time in your floors. Search. But yeah, no, I, anyway, player unknown. I don't think I have actually done better than top 10 in solo. I want a duel once and um, oh, I don't know if we can afford this or not. This is so risky. Should not have gotten hit there. Um, what do you take? Okay, we didn't die. Oh my God, how much health do I have? I'm gonna risk it. We didn't die. We didn't die. Please don't be cursed of the unknown. Oh, we got two HP. Of course, frickin' this room right now. Okay, 
go with you guys down here. Good stuff. Oh my god. Oh, this... I was trying to freaking go with the dude. Uh, I do think it's worth it, though, because... You know what? One second. Turn this... Turn these on so I can get the maw going. Okay. We can get some black hearts back from maw, hopefully. Oh, I almost walked right into it. Got one back. All right. We got one freaking luck. All right. All right. All right. See, this is why you come to the channel. I take the stupid risks that nobody else will ever take. Curse of the unknown. Two freaking three soul heart deals. You ain't bugging me at all. Let's do it. Why not? Thought that might have been the second secret room. If we actually uh, get some good placement of our item room, shop, and boss room, we might be able to make boss rush on this run. Good stuff. First shop up. Go like that. Uh, the converter is potentially worth it, but we don't have enough to afford it. I mean, like, I would absolutely take this run a hundred times out of a hundred, so I'm absolutely happy to have it. We're not going to make boss rush. I'm not going to skip that item room. Magician is fine. All right, we had 11 cents now. How much was the uh, converter? Seven cents? Mm, not really. I like our soul hearts. Come on, give me like one more. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Uh, yeah, that's a reroll. That's a reroll. You know what? Why not? Why not is what I say. Let's get weird with it. We got Guppy anyway. Like, how much more of a guaranteed win do, you, do I need? <clears throat> All right. Let's get this going. Look at the size of the circle we can make. Ooh, baby. Yeah, we're in a pretty good place, I would say, on this run. Why would I walk right into it, though? That is just arrogance. We haven't seen our super or our first secret room, though. Could be here. There it is. Hello. Goodbye. No um, tinted rocks, oddly enough. All right, let's go do the boss. Now we could do hush. If we get enough money and more than three soul hearts, uh, I'd be into doing Hush. As of right now, though, not really on my top list to do. Let's grab that. We don't, we're not, we're unlikely to get angel statues show up. So let's just go. All right, good stuff. Good, good stuff. Curse the unknown. We have three black hearts. Still have three black hearts. Let's get Maw going here. Unfortunately, now, like, Maw the Void is actually going to be, like, crazy difficult to get going. Okay, okay, okay. Like, we come in, and we got to, like, quickly use it. Oh, that was, like, really good. Uh, Dry Baby, you're not actually going to do anything for us, so I think we got to reroll. Yeah, we'll take Dad's key. You know we'll do it. Oh! Oh! We got the magic mush. My name is Jonas. I got the magic mush. If you haven't seen that other YouTube video, 
that corporate one where they're like, my name is Casey. I like to watch hockey. I work in HR. Um, that me just saying that is gonna make no sense, but you know, go watch that video and then it will. All right, haunt's gonna go down pretty quick. Nothing in here. I didn't, don't know why I thought there would be. Doesn't matter. We're in such a good place right now. Purse room in here, don't mind if I do. And a soul heart from there. We're in like, we're in such a win run right now, or a one run. We in the win run. My name is Guppy. I shoot the flies out. Doesn't make sense, but whatever, fuck you. Joker? Oh. Nope. Ooh, a steamy sale on the last floor with the shops. Not really what I'm looking for. I'm actually like really happy that we have Eye of Belial right now. Not only is it like such a great damage upgrade, I actually think it synergizes really well with Tiny Planet. Oddly enough, because the tears like hang out for a long time. You know what? Do we want to do the chest or do we want to do the dark room? What else could we possibly get that makes this a better run? Like nothing? So let's do the dark room. One. Wow. Ha. All right. Now don't forget, we're heading down to the dark room to show. Let's go fight. Satan. Also possibly Mega Satan. Okay. Two black... Wow, like five black hearts there. All right. Don't understand why that happened. But I like it. You son of a bitch. You made me bleed my own blood. Don't come down. Oh, you didn't come down. Uh, Pride's okay. Gives us two of clubs. We'll just pop it. Take the Magician with us. If we can get down to the Womb 2 in relatively easy fashion, I might be convinced to do the Hush Fight. Because we have like a lot of HP and we have like a lot of damage. So it wouldn't actually be like too bad of a fight. And we have like enough for at least like one item. And we got Guppy, like there's a lot of good stuff going on right now. Although I should probably stop opening chests if that's our plan. Not worth it. Literally the worst item you could give me right now because it's for free in a lot of other places. Okay, stop opening the chest for a moment. That was the best bomb I've ever bowled in my life. Now, if you could, at some point, please give me Holy Mantle. I would really appreciate it. I was going to say, I was going to place a bomb up there anyway. I don't know why I put a bomb there. Um, what do I want from an item standpoint? Honestly, like, I have no idea. There it is. No, thank you. Yeah, I, I think I remember what I was asking for. Uh, it was a golden key, so I could open up some stuff. Okay, I don't actually want that. Um, yeah, I still don't really want it. Head of Krampus is not worth it. Lump of coal would have been great. Um, yeah, let's just go. <clears throat> Please give me a deal on this floor, though. That would be really cool of you. Small rock? Nope. You know what? Open one. That was worth it. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Got freaking frogs in my throat right now. I am sorry. 
Thank you for the keys. We need seven keys. So we're gonna try to get that. So because we're doing the dark room here as well, we don't actually need to like worry so much about our key situation either. It actually feels pretty nice. Money's okay. We also got a steam sale. So we can actually like do some good stuff. Check this. Yeah, don't mind if I do. That's what I was hoping for. For the keys. So now we got enough keys for the hush fight. We actually have like more than enough right now. So if we want to, we can actually pop open a golden chest if one does show up. Which it should because we got Guppy's tail. You get Guppy in a run and it's prior to the hush fight. Unless you're sitting with like zero damage, you gotta do hush, right? I mean, you don't have to, but you should. You don't get 37 wins, which we're not at in a row for nothing. Uh, nothing in that room. Can't, oh, we can go in there, actually. Let's check it. Not worth it. It might be worth it if I didn't have eight keys, but I have eight keys, so I don't really care. Right, this is going to be skeleton hand. It freaking right on top of me. You joking me? That was not worth it. I'm just going to go back up here and grab that soul heart real quick. Thank you. One makes you I shouldn't have popped that. I got tempted. All right, you know what? We got like two minutes. Let's hustle a little bit. Yeah, I was going to say, because there might be like more of this floor than we know to try to get through. All right, there's the boss fight. Good stuff. Okay, grab you, come down. Can't actually do anything with that, but if we do get hit here, uh, it will be kind of worth it. We didn't get hit here. No deal! Oh my god. All right, don't forget, we gotta go down to Shoal after this. Don't forget. It'd still be a win, but not like the win that I want. This is like the worst shop. Oh, right. We could have just used dad's key here. Hmm. <laughs> oh my God. This, these items. Are you seeing this shit right now though? Ace of clubs. Eh, not really worth it. What the hell do we do here? No, grab that. Sure, grab that and check this. Emperor. Not really. What the hell? Okay, um, you know what we do? Check this out. Lusty Blood is really, really good, but we're going to have Guppy either way. So, is there a battery in here? There is a battery in there. I'm going to reroll it and then take Dad's key with us. Got Leviathan, we got Pentagram. Uh, you know, no. take curved one. We have a lot of damage. We don't have continuum. We got sissy long legs. This is actually probably good enough. And then we come back over here. And then we grab tech X. Also, we have a respawn of something of some sort. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm looking for a black market, crawl space, you name it. It's not there. Good stuff. You know what? Grab that. All right. Do we have PhD maybe? Nope. Okay. Magician. We're going to use a magician in this fight. Like right now. Kind of wish we had... Um, Spoonbender permanently with Tech X, but look, Tiny Planet is like super fun, but when there's a reroll, I'm gonna reroll. 
Now, am I going to reroll after we're done with this fight? If I didn't have... Well, we got Hive Mind. I'm not re-rolling anything. I was going to say, if we didn't have uh, Dad's Key, I would have taken D4. 115,000% I would have taken it. But with Hive Mind, Dad's Key, etc., etc., got to do it. Right? I can't say no to this. Like, this is a... This is beyond guaranteed. Oh, we got number two. Hello, number two. Yo, pop up, though. Just pop down here. Kind of wish we had, like, a better tier rate, but that might be a little beggars, can't be choosers situation right now. Like, I can't really complain about the run. And, uh, you know what? No risk, no rewards. History favors the risk takers, or so I hear. I also don't know if that's exactly how that turn of phrase goes. All right. We got flies doing some good work. Good stuff. Oh, we got Guppy's collar. That's why it's a question mark. That's the respawn we got. Which means suicide card is oddly tempting if we get one. Okay. Yeah, move out of that area, maybe. And hush is done. Hushy, hushy's done, done. Okay, come down here. Sure. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Whoa, okay. No, we still got the negative, right? Yep. I almost went up. I almost went to the cathedral, boys. That was almost a terrible mistake. All right, we got Shoal. Shoal's going to be pretty much a cakewalk. I could just Emperor card, but I don't really want to. You know what I'm going to do? Here's my thinking. Why don't we use Emperor card on the next floor on the dark room immediately, and then we can get to Blue Baby, which means we have to work our way back to get Mega Satan. Ooh. Isn't that smart and risky and stupid? Of course it is. So I'm going to do it. Yara? Oh, unless we get a Yara card. Or a Yara rune. Then I'm taking the Yara. Alright, good stuff. This is good timing too, because like... Relatively, um... Time-wise, I, I need to, like, leave in a matter of 15 minutes or so. So, you might be saying to yourself, why would you start a run if you know you have a time constraint? I didn't think of it. That was lucky. I just thought, you know what? Whatever. I got... May as well do a freaking Isaac run. Why not? There's no repercussions available. Nothing else on the floor that I'm really concerned about. Bomb me. Alright. Fallen is done. Just, like, let the flies do their work. I got hit, though. Okay. Uh, down to the dark room. Alright. Good stuff. gosh so um curse of the lost is interesting we're still gonna pop this and this is why you come down here for these wonderful wonderful items and we're still gonna pop the emperor card and i don't know why i thought we were fighting blue baby um for some of you you were like uh duh but i'm not the smartest man no i don't want to do a victory lap i want to go fight my mega satan Let's go find Mago Satan. Ooh, a luck upgrade. And a sun card, which literally does nothing for us. But I thank you for giving it to us. Let's pop the sun card here. 
So I don't know where we are. I think that was stupid of me. All right. Well, thank you for the free black heart. <coughs> oh my gosh. Throat is still acting up. I need like, uh, like a cider or something to get this freaking bug in my throat gone. Um, oh, we don't have Guppy's tail anymore. I was like, I was expecting more chests. I was promised chests on this floor. I actually thought that there would be a secret room like right here. And there wasn't. So, good on me. Oh, we should have got hit there. Ooh, this room sucks. Is there only one of you, though? That's not too bad. But he can, like, rush you down. Okay, I don't know why I thought there would be a secret room there. There we are. Key beggar. No key beggar. All right, world card. Look at the wonders that it did. I actually do think that... Um, not necessarily like the world card, but other cards other than Dagos should maybe have some effects. Like maybe if you use two world cards. And I mean, we do have a full card, which essentially is an emperor card, but I would maybe like like one chest to make this all worthwhile and not just freaking waste the time. It's so far nothing, okay. Okay. Can't help but notice that this is not spawn room. Best bomb placement ever. Grab this. World card. Fool card. Yeah, sometimes you just don't want to move, and that's their actual best move is not to move. Ooh, a black card. Don't mind if I do. All right. Still, where the hell do we need to go, though? Come on. Come on up. No. Guess we gotta go this way? There we go. May as well, like, check out the other, like, two um, legs of the, like, the floor here just to see if we can get an item or two. With this luck, though, I don't imagine we will. You can always just fool card back, though. For this... After this one room. You know, I might get lost. We did all that, and we didn't get shit for items. Literally no items on this entire run. Or, uh, entire floor. <clears throat> but we are gonna do this. Uh, do I want to do delirium? No. No, I've earned... I did Delirium a couple runs ago. I've earned my freaking Delirium avoidance credits for this semester. Yeah, just get out of town. What happens if you use Dad's key in this room? I can never remember. Absolutely nothing. Good to know. Telefrag, nice. Although I should not have been standing there, even, whatever. Angel statues, like one charge. Yep. Don't try to do your mega freaking brimstone on me, dude. You ain't got nothing. My flies will destroy you. That is win number something. Nope. I don't care. I don't care. Win number 27. Feels good. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like what you saw, feel free to give me a like and a sub. Means the world to me. I can also be found on Twitter, twitter.com slash Jonas Fatson, or on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Jonas Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace out.